Hello, my name is Charles Smith. I I'm a composer, I'm a pianist, I'm a arranger. Maybe a musician. So I'm just going to give you a, a, a brand new music theory tutorial right now. It focuses on a summarization of the harmonies used in in rock music's greatest creations of all, Van Halen's Eruption. I think it was released around 1977, it's the, the first album ever by Van Halen. It appears on the second track. Uh, I think it appears after the song Running With The Devil, which is the first track on that album. So, basically I'm going to reduce the, the beat timing per minute to tell you basically what happens without doing the music yet. I, just, uh, uh, I realized that after analyzing the actual score of Eruption, that it is made of, I think, three major sections. Part one is the when the, the target doesn't has a lot of runs, but basically the bass guitar and an additional guitarist does power chords which are indicated by a, a five after the chord name. So, I'll tell you. Right here, for example, an A5, which means basically there is no third at all in the triad of the A chord. It's just a root and a fifth, and that's it. That's your power chord. You see other power chords. This one, a G and a D with no B at all, no third, which is the B. It's a G and D, and that's a that's called a G five power chord. And another power chord, which is a D five. Right here. So, let me tell you how it sounds like. So, those are the power chords. This, and those power chords are in the underlying accompaniment as the guitar player Van Halen, Van Halen himself does all those runs. But, and then, to end the first part of the run, after you hear those, those power chords, A, G, D power chords, the guitar cadenza continues with this pentatonic pattern here. Something a little bit like a Johann Sebastian Bach pattern, something like that. Pentatonic is because it has five notes E, G sharp, B, A, and F sharp. So that's, so that's parts one and two of the eruption cadenza. So I'm going to let you hear part one and two without stopping. Here's the power chords A5, no A5, no G5, a G5, and D5 power chord. And then the guitar condenser part one ends with that pentatonic sequence.
and then in extends with a with a drop down and torn into a a swoop down and into a glissando and then going down and a glissando going upward on it. Just a lonely no chords at all. The third part of the of the cadenza focuses on harmonies that have been used mainly in the romantic period. Uh, combinations of fifths and sixths. See this? Uh, for example, C sharp chord, a triad, A major triad of a first inversion. So that this is a fifth and a sixth, and there's a sequence. A diminished fifth, B sharp, F sharp, A, B sharp, F sharp, B. That's a fifth and a sixth, and so forth. See? Fifth and sixth. Another fifth and sixth. Then, it continues with upper pedal points and descending thirds chromatically. Pedal point here is in the upper line. The other tones go down chromatically by half step. In sequence. They go down, look, they go down. So it's the pedal point. They go down in uh, whole steps. In sequence, so this is a whole step sequence. This is down whole step sequence, but the same result. And this leads to a a five three in E minor, and this resolves into E minor, a B minor chord, a five three or first inversion downwards in E minor and then changes to minor one and and the five six three for two measures. Finally the condenser ends on a uh, feeling of resolution on the dom dominant, which is the minor fifth. Usually, well, well, Van Halen doesn't use thirds or even he, he does use fifths in the in the, in the the ending of the condenser has a big going up to an octave E and then a swoop down two octaves to a very low E with a power chord B a, a power note B above it to end the condenser, but it's assumed that it is. Because of the tip off of the this E minor chord, it's assumed that it ends on the E minor chord, even though there's no D at all. So all together, I'm going to do this all the parts without stopping. So here are the power chords for part one. The underlying accompaniment that follows the guitar cadenza and the first part of the guitar cadenza ends on the pentatonic E major scale of five notes. Then it goes to part three, the fifth and sixth clash against each other in sequence. The fifth and sixth, a fifth and a sixth, all the chords, fifth and sixth. Fifth and sixth, and then upper pillow point and the setting third chromatically in sequence. Now down a major second, right here, and down a major second here, leading to the five of E minor, and it was off the E minor, 
and now five of E minor, first inversion, and then very fast change of sequence. One and five, and faster rhythm, finally ending on E. So, let's do it a little bit faster. I'm going to bring the timing up a little bit. So, it'll be almost like, a little bit like real timing. The, the prior convention does, uh, does uh, last about approximately one and a half minutes, probably one minute and 40 seconds. I'm go now, it's going to be a little bit faster here then. Just see the notes grow around, okay? Okay, it starts with a power, power fifth, and then the pentatonic E major scale, and then the fifth and sixth chords in sequence, and then the upper power points are the set third chromatically in sequence, and then the five one going fast in two measures and finally resolving on the plain old E. It has some, uh, it's, we just assume that it ends on an E minor chord even though there is no G at all. So basically that's a, a summary of the parts of what I call major highlights in Van Halen's eruption. So I, so I hope that you understand a little bit more on how this famous rock guitar cadenzas work. And so, ne next time you hear this cadenza, you will understand a little bit on how, how the harm harmony is structured. And so, basically that's it. There'll be more tutorials like this next time.